feel like this uh, is a giant family reunion, the largest APAC gathering in history. This is a crowd. The U.S.-Israel relationship is extremely important, and this is a gathering every year that brings everybody together who cares about that relationship. Where else can you see prime ministers and presidents, secretaries of states, leaders of Congress? The only place that you can see that is here at the APAC Policy Conference. I'm going to leave this conference completely energized to work again for Israel and the Jewish people. The speakers, the content. So many of the best and brightest. The opportunity to educate myself, my family, all in the same place. But it's also necessary. It's the, the most difficult part is deciding which one you're going to hear. We live in a country of such great freedom and great democracy, and so many people don't realize that the access to our congressional leaders is right here, right now. When you leave here to visit Congress, you will be the cavalry storming Capitol Hill. Your visits to the Hill make a difference. I think APAC does such an incredible job of letting members of Congress know the truth about what's going on in the Middle East and making sure that we keep our eye focused on our great ally, Israel. We must never allow anyone to drive a wedge between the state of Israel and the United States of America. Israel is not alone in this fight, nor will she ever be. People from all different political spectrums, religious affiliations, different branches of Judaism, all come together for one purpose, to make the U.S.-Israel relationship stronger. In the day and time that we're living, it's so important that you get yourself educated, involved, and that your voice is heard. Now is the time when the U.S. must stand with Israel it's vital to give your time, your energy, your intellect, because yes, this is our time. This is our turn. Ensure that America stands by Israel. Register now for the APAC Policy Conference, May 22, 2011, in Washington, D.C.